Hey folks, here's another tournament battle, but this is for a different tournament. This is the Pokemon Master 14's seventh tournament, uh, round one. Um, and my opponent is Azukatsu, and there should be a link to his channel. Um, I start off with Crobat. I'm using my Sam team with very little variation. Um, and so I start off with um, Stella predicting um, that he's going to send out someone who's going to do some kind of stealth rock setup. Um, but when I see he's sending out a Lucario, I decide to try to take it out on the first hit with uh, the first turn with um, Brave Bird, but it does just shy of enough, and so he's able to take out uh, Stella with Ice Punch, um, and the first KO of the battle goes to my opponent. Um, my second Pokemon is Tux, uh, and I'm just going to have Tux set up Stealth Rock. Um, he switches out. Uh, I guess he was figuring I might do an Aqua Jet, which I was considering because that would have taken him out. And he s sends out Blissey, um, and I'm really wishing I had my Taunter still, but oh well. So um, Empoleon can't do anything against um, Blissey. Um, so I go ahead and send out Fupaloop, my Mamoswine. Um, and his Blissey uses a seismic toss, um, which is good. I'm glad it's not trying to set up. Um, and <laughs> I love that animation. <laughs> Seeing this, uh, Mamoswine being tossed up in the air. Hilarious. Anyway, um, Fumpaloop goes ahead and uses super effective, uh, superpower, which one hit KOs Blissey which is awesome, um, but now I'm going to have to switch him out because Superpower is going to have lowered both his attack and his defense. Um, anyway, my opponent uh, sends out uh, Lucario back out. I'm not sure who's faster. Oh, never mind, Lucario who <laughs> dies from um, Stealth Rock, which is great. Um, so I guess he didn't want to keep him around for fodder later on, which is understandable. Um, anyway, he sends out uh, Infernape, who, uh, between fire and fighting moves, um, and I know he's going to outspeed Fupaloop. There's no point in keeping Fupaloop in, so I pull her back and send out um, Zapdos, who will resist a fire type move, a uh, fighting type move, and won't do anything fire type. Uh, he uses U-turn, um, which I wasn't expecting. Gets a crit, but doesn't really do anything because it's resisted. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, my Zapdos is physically um, bulky, uh, and so he pulls back, pulls that back, and sends out um, uh, Tyranitar. Uh, so and whips up a sandstorm in the process. Um, so uh, I'm not going to want to keep Zapdos out for that. Um, I'm going to want to pull uh, him back or it back. Um, yeah, I've got some leftover recovery action going on, and so I pull back Zapdos and send out um, Mamoswine, which would have been a bad move if he'd gone for the super effective, um, whatchamacallit, super effective Stone Edge, um, but oh well. Uh, I didn't mind, it would have been neutral anyway. Um, but anyway, he gets off a Dragon Dance, so I'm like, oh shoot. Uh, but he, anyway, he uses Earthquake, I guess he wasn't running Stone Edge, or maybe he just wanted the accuracy. Um, now Fupaloop can use Superpower, which even with the Chopley Berry um, is going to be 2x effective and is going to take him out. Um, this is why I, yeah, um, I don't know that Chopley Berry is a great option for Tyranitar because even with its pretty impressive defenses, um, I guess it's got a lot of special defense more than defense. Um, but anyway, a four, you know, taking a 4x down to a 2x effectiveness isn't really going to help you too much. Um, basically, if you see a fighting type move, you're gonna you pretty much have to switch out. I think if you've got a Tyranitar. Anyway, who does he sound? He sends out um, uh, Infernape again, but that's okay. He's racking up Stealth Rock damage, and so U-Turn is going to do neutral damage against Jirachi, who I've sent out. Um, <laughs> Jirachi just shrugs it off. That's such a cute little animation. Um, and Infernape goes back. Um, <clears throat> And he sends out uh, Skarmory in its stead. That's okay. Um, I've got um, Fire Punch on Jirachi. Um, and Jirachi goes and uses Fire Punch. But he's got a um, Aka Berry, which weakens uh, Fire Punch's power, which is a shame. Uh, so it's not going to be super effective. Um, but it still does. It actually does no, nothing. But I get the Burn Hacks, which is great. Um, Serene Grace is awesome. Uh, it's an awesome ability. Um, so I get spiked. Um, that's not the end of the world, but uh, I would have rather not. Um, so now I go for another fire punch, and even though it's a critical hit, 
Uh, he's not, then he's not Sash or anything. Um, survives with like one HP, which is a real big shame. Um, anyway, Skarmie then goes down thanks to the burn. Um, gotta love that burn hacks. Um, not that it would have mattered. I would have, you know, on the next turn, I would have taken him out. Um, and anyway, he sends out, uh, Infernape again. Um, and so Fire Punch is not going to do anything, so I'm going to pull back Jirachi. Um, I'm anticipating an, a fire type move, um, or fighting, well, because fighting type would have been neutral, but anyway, he uses overheat, um, which I'm like, okay, that's fine, but then he gets a crit, which in this case mattered, and takes out, um, Pazuzu in one hit. Um, so Pazuzu, my Zapdos is down, um, and this match we're running kind of pretty even, I think I'm a little bit ahead, um, I don't think I managed to leave in any of the, uh, little scoreboards. Anyway, Jirachi goes back out, um, because I'm going to go ahead and use Zen Headbutt. Um, he predicts that move and pulls back um, his Infernape and sends out Bronzong, um, who's going to not care about a Zen Headbutt at all. Um, so Jirachi goes ahead and uses Zen Headbutt, um, which does a pitifully small amount of damage. Um, and I think he's got leftovers recovery anyway, so it's going to uh, recover that um, maybe not, I guess he didn't have... Okay, so anyway, I send out um, Mick, my Umbreon, uh, my shiny Umbreon, who's hurt by the spikes, um, and he uses Hypnosis, not realizing that Umbreon's a dark type and is immune to Hypnosis, um, and it's, and uh, PBR is not helping him at all, because it's saying that the attack missed, so he thinks it's just, oh, it's crappy accuracy. So I get to go ahead and use Curse, um, which is going to um, be extra good, um, because he uses Gyro Ball, so it has, um, I guess it lowers its power by a stage, um, since I've cut uh, mixed speed, and it also um, cuts its effectiveness because it boosts his defense. So I got off another curse, and he tries for another Hypnosis, and it says it misses, but it's not missing, it's just not going to do anything, no matter how many times he uses it. Um, so I'm being chipped away by the um, sandstorm damage, uh, which isn't great. But now Mick is going to go on the offensive and use payback, um, which does a massive amount of damage. When I put Mick on this team, it was really he was my heel bell. Uh, he was my heel bell cleric. Um, what I wasn't expecting is that he'd be quite capable of sweeping. Um, yeah, here he goes again with another payback, which after uh, plus two from curse is and um, being slower. Um, is going to do, you know, just deals massive amounts of damage, and uh, he's down. Um, and so he's down to his last Pokemon, um, and I'm down into about half health. Um, and so he sends out Infernape, um, who's going to resist uh, Payback. Um, but he, this is his last Pokemon, so I figure I'm going to fodder him. So he uses Close Combat, but at plus two defense, this is so awesome, Mix survives with um, actually quite a bit of HP. I mean, more than, you know, Sandstorm damage. Um, and I'm just flabbergasted. And so Mick gets off a of payback, um, which he's now minus one defense, and so it manages to take him out. And so Mick actually um, beats him, even though I just left him in for fodder, for death fodder. Just absolutely amazing. Mick wins, and I've won the match. So I'm proceeding to round two. Um, Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, yeah, so, so long.